kiss for you. بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو مائی انادر ویڈیو سیریز آن اینڈرائڈ ایپ ڈیولپمنٹ اینڈ سو گائز ان دس ویڈیو سیریز آئی ول بی ٹیچنگ یو دی آل دی بیسکس اینڈ آل دی کانسیپٹس آف دی فائر بیس ریئل ٹائم ڈیٹا بیس آل رائٹ سو یو ول لرن اے لاٹ آف تھنگس اینڈ آئی ول میک شیور دیٹ یو انڈرسٹینڈ آل دی کانسیپٹس ریگارڈنگ دی فائر بیس ڈیٹا بیس سو فرسٹ آف آل آئی ول ٹیچ یو ہاؤ یو کین کنیکٹ یور فائر بیس application with your firebase database console and how you can uh, how you can log in the users and then how you can uh, how you can upload the data to your firebase database and how you can uh, display the data then how you can update the data all right and all the other concepts regarding the firebase database so after you go after you will complete this video series you will be able to learn all the things that are required for your for you to build any app within with the firebase real time database all right so let's get started so as you can see i already have uh, created the android studio project and there you can see we have the main activity and we have the java file as well as the xml file so first of all our the first task is you have to connect your android project with your with the firebase all right so for that you have to go to your firebase console then you uh, for the firebase you must have a gmail account okay since i already have a gmail account so here i will log in and here i will click on go to console and there i can create a project so there you will you can see we have this add project and we can name the project as uh, database tutorial okay because we will only will be dealing with the database okay so and it's saying that if you want to integrate the google analytics but i we don't need this for now so i will disable it and then we can create the project so it's now creating our project on the firebase console and yes now our project will be created so we have to first of all uh, copy the package name of our application so if we are uh, we have to copy and here we will continue and it will ask us to create an app within our project so we can have uh, multiple apps within a same uh, same the firebase project so here it's saying we have to use android then here we have to pass on our package name and only we have to click on register app but instead we can uh, name our, pro our application name and we can say database tutorial app okay and we will click on register now and there you can see we have this download google services dot json okay so we have to uh, download this google services dot json file and then we can cut it all right and we have to open our project then we have to choose this project view then here we can click on right click on app and we have to paste it here click ok all right so so now that's how we uh, that's how we copy and we integrate the firebase in our android studio project okay then here we click on next and it's saying that we have to add the firebase sdk for that we can just copy that and we have to open our build.gradle and here we can paste it then here it is saying that we have to paste this file so here we can say copy and we can open this and we can paste it here and now we can click on sync now after we click on sync now and here we can say next and it's saying continue to the console all right so now we are inside our console and here we have this app so first of all what we have to do we have to enable the database so click on real time database in the meanwhile let me check our application and yes uh, it is the gradle is building and since my internet is very slow so that's why it is it is taking a lot of time so 
uh, for now what we can do we can enable our database and check the rules for it okay so here you can see real time database so first of all we have to create the database so we click on uh, on the database and there we can see start in locked mode or start in test mode so we have to click on start in test mode and there you can see anyone with your database reference will be able to view edit and delete all your data so we have to enable it all right so now we have enabled the real time database so what we can do first of all we can go to our rules and here we can just uh, remove this and we can just write true and then also for write we can write true all right and we can say publish okay so now we the rules are now published and now our database is open and we can access it directly all right so after this just there you can see we have successfully integrated the firebase sdk in our project then the and the last step is we have to add the dependencies okay so we have to add the firebase de uh, database dependencies so for this we can open google and here we can write firebase database android and we can open the firebase real time documentation and there you, you will be able to see this implementation so we can just uh, copy it and we have to paste it here and we just now need to click on sync now all right guys so now our database has been successfully uh, integrated into our project and now we will start uh, writing the code but i think that is enough for this video so we will continue in our second part of the video so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye